So I'm headed off to the Taste of Royal Lunch that's supposed to be held at Wonderland, where you get a bunch of different courses from all of the restaurants. So you get a little tasting here and a tasting there. I think when I booked it online, it was $29.99, and I'm gonna tell you guys how it was. So on the last day of the cruise, I left the girls to play, and I went to enjoy a sumptuous meal at Wonderland's Taste of Royal. When I arrived on the ship on day one, I tried to book Wonderland but was having some app errors. And by the time I spoke to customer service the next day, Wonderland was sold out. So I was so glad that I had already purchased the Royal Caribbean's Taste of Royal experience online before boarding. A large gold finger points the way inside and the head waiter showed me to my table. The ambiance was so lovely and the waiter was amazing. The service was incredible from the start. He went through the menu with me to explain what I'd be expecting for those courses. We're at Wonderland's Taste of Royal Lunch, where they go through the main, some courses from all the different restaurants. Um, Wonderland, Jamie's Italian, Chops Grill, and 150 Central Park. I forgot the last one for a second. Uh, so we're gonna start with some St. Peter's Spritzer, and then we're gonna have Citrus Seas Tuna Tartare, Mascarpone Cheese Risotto with Crab Meat, Filet Mignon, and a Spicy Jumbo Shrimp and a fried cheesecake. <laughs> Looking forward to this one. Waiters are amazing. The service as always is wonderful. I'm looking forward. If you follow us on TikTok and Instagram, you might've seen photos of this bread. I have literally dreamed of this bread since I've gotten home. I wish I'd eaten all the rest, but I was worried about not having enough room for all the meals that were to come. As you know, Wonderland is our imaginative cuisine, which mm -hmm. is inspired by Alice in the Wonderland. Mm -hmm. So we have here the cit citrus chinatata, all right, citrus chinatata, we have some greens here, and then you have the uh, green caviar here. This is a filo dough, and the filo dough is together with parmesan. You have some mayo and garnish with some meat leaves. Perfect. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Spritzer is delicious. It's a little fizzy, orangey, citrusy, really great. And this one, I have to pull back up on the menu again to see where it was from, but you should order this. And it came with the meal. First course was amazing. Um, the tuna tartare was nice and spicy. Um, the waiter said it was actually sriracha in there a little bit to give it a little bit of a kick to offset the fishiness. It was delicious. And literally, I cleaned my plate. The plate was empty. There was nothing left, nothing. Um, even the mayo was gone because the mayo is a little bit citrusy and it helps with the flavor. With the citrus, with the sriracha, with the fish, everything mixed together was an absolutely perfect so in between courses, I was enjoying the St. Peter's Spritzer. <laughs> Watch to the end if you wanna see the effects of that. The second course from Giovanni's table was the mascarpone cheese risotto with crab meat. It was carnaroli rice, if I said that correctly, crab meat, lemon, mascarpone, peas, and aged Parmesan. But the risotto has lemon in it, peas, aged parmesan is perfectly cooked that was from jamie's italian um the next option is from chops grill the next part of our menu i think is the third course is from chops grill and that's going to be the filet, filet mignon shrimp combination and i literally I, I keep having to stop myself because the food here has been so good so far that i keep going back and eating more but i'm trying to remember that i have like two more courses left that i have to eat so i don't want to fill up on the first two especially the bread the bread here 
chef skills. Like, it's amazing. The bread is amazing. We got the steak knife on deck, ready for that filet mignon to come out. I literally had to have him take away the risotto because the risotto was so good that I kept going back for more. Then you have some spice shrimp, broccoli, asparagus, and your mashed potato. Perfect. Please enjoy it all the way from chopped grill. And then uh, this is first glass of wine for you. You can have it for me. All the way from the Papa Lee, California. So, we are not dog one. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the wine that goes with the meat. This is actually separate. So if you get this one, you can do the fight of wine tastings with the meal. I believe it adds on about $24.99, um, but then you get wine with the course. That too shabby. So after all that good food, we're about to have our fourth course. The fourth one is dessert, and it is going to be from 150 Central Park. It is a deep fried Nutella cheesecake. Excuse me, yes. Deep fried Nutella cheesecake. So after all this good food on the cruise and being able to experience all this, I still get a cheesecake. Isn't that great? Okay, so were you guys expecting this? Because I was not expecting this. When they said a fried cheesecake, I was expecting a little piece of cheesecake fried. But I got these little three balls. Well, actually, it's four. So two. A couple of drinks in. It's <laughs> two whipped cream um, dollops with this caramel corn. And then two fried cheesecakes on the plate. Looking absolutely amazing and delicious. Com the presentation in the entire meal has been gorgeous like everything has been presented so beautifully and so ornately and it feels like a high-end meal that I would have paid way more than like 30 bucks for like it's amazing like so if you can't do anything else on your cruise and you can only do the taste of Royal jump on it like if you see it online on your cruise for Royal Caribbean jump on that taste of Royal menu because this thing is amazing And everything off with a nice cappuccino. And yes, I'm blasphemous. I put sugar in pretty much everything, including my spaghetti. Don't hate me. This is amazing. The entire meal has been absolutely amazing. I'm still finishing off my fried cheesecake. And when I tell you, I'm gonna be hard pressed to eat five more times today, but I'm still gonna try to make it because today's the last day of the trip and I'm so sad it's the last day. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to make it eat five more times today. Someone has to make that sacrifice and I'm willing to do it. Uh, but this meal alone has been completely worth it. I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I booked it. I'm so glad I booked it early. Book it early because it's sold out completely. I tried to book another one today and it was completely gone for all the times available but this has been so great the experience the food the service you can't beat it 
again if you haven't tried wonderland make sure you come down and try it but if you can't make it into wonderland try to make it into the taste of royal lunch everyone's amazing would you mind thank you <laughs> and everyone is here is amazing as always and thank you guys bye again bye again thank you thank you thank you bye so wonderland and the taste of royal right behind me has been absolutely amazing the service was amazing the head waiter is so friendly and so kind and if you have not come down and you are thinking about maybe doing a specialty meal plan but don't want to spend quite so much money definitely check out the taste of royal make sure you do it on the app because if you don't get it on the app in time you might not make it in but go to royal caribbean's website or on the application check out the taste of royal and i think for my sailing i paid 29.99 it might have been 34.99 one of the two but it came with four courses a drink and it was absolutely amazing i couldn't have asked for better and if this was the only thing i could do i would have been completely happy with it bye guys see you next time like share subscribe